This is the model 105 Patriot from Badger. It's, uh, it's an all-round airbrush. It's got a single uh, needle nozzle combination that's suitable for, for fine lines and just general airbrushing. It's got a nice smooth trigger action that you can adjust the tension on. I can easily get to the needle to pull it back for clearing any paint just by undoing the chucking nut and just pulling it straight out the back of the handle. You don't need to take the handle off to do this. There's a, a colour cup cap to spend, prevent any spillages while you're working. It's got a very open paint cup, easy to clean out. It's got a really nice uh, chrome finish throughout. There's a rubber protective cap at the front just to prevent you any needle damage while you're not using it. And it's just a really nice airbrush for just general use, model making, fine art, whatever. And this is the Badger Patriot Arrow. It's very similar to the 105 but it's just got a, a smaller paint cup. If you don't need to do any large projects um, this may be more suitable for you. Same trigger, same uh, needle and nozzle, uh, exactly the same easily accessible uh, needle for cleaning. Just a smaller paint cup. So this is, this is just as good for, for just smaller projects. Exactly the same uh, nozzle and needle configuration and uh, same really great quality chroming all over. So I'll just show you how to strip, strip these down. Okay, so to begin with, as usual, we just unscrew the handle. This will allow us to get to the, uh, the needle. So first of all, we just release the chuck nut. And then we just withdraw the, the needle straight back. Just press down on the trigger so that nothing catches the needle as you withdraw it. So now we can just take off the chuck nut completely. Now I'm just going to pull back the tube shank which houses the, the spring and the spring screw. I'll explain that a little bit later on. I'll just unscrew it so far back which will then allow me to just pull the trigger straight out. Now the back lever on this or the, the trigger lever isn't pinned to the tube shank so you just pull that straight out. I'll just continue with the tube shank assembly and that's as far as you need to go at the rear end. Move around to the front taking off the uh, nozzle cap or spray regulator. You can see the tip of the nozzle. Now we're just going to take off the head or the uh, nozzle retainer Everything's finger tight, so there's no, no need for any tools. And there we've got the nozzle which just sits in a mating cone face in the, uh, in the airbrush body. It's self-centering so there's no threads. So that is it as far as stripping down goes. So now we'll put everything back together again. Now this is the the assembly for the um, for the trigger spring. Just pull out the needle tube, and then what you've got is the the spring, which is housed in here. This piece is the spring screw. This enables you to adjust the tension on the trigger spring, which is different to any other airbrush. And there's the spring inside. I 
Okay, so now we're going to put everything back together again. Moving around to the front of the airbrush, I'm just going to drop the nozzle into the body. It just sits in the cone. What you can do with this is you can put a little bit of lube on the nozzle, it just keeps it in place while you're putting everything back together again. So now we're replacing the head or the, uh, the tip retainer. It's all just finger tight, no, no tools necessary. And now we're going to put on the spray regulator or the, the nozzle cap as it's sometimes called. You can just see the tip of the nozzle sticking out the front there. And that's it for the front. Okay, so now we're going to rebuild the uh, trigger spring assembly. Now this is the tube shank which houses the, the trigger spring and the spring screw which allows you to adjust the tension. So this is slightly different to, to most other airbrushes. So once you've assembled that you just slide it over the needle tube. There's a flat which engages with a machine flat in the tube shank so that nothing turns. And now we're going to insert this into the back of the airbrush. At this point it's pretty much similar to, uh, to any, other, any other airbrush really. We're going to screw that in. You can see it turning inside the body. You just want to make sure that those flats still line up all the way. Just keep pulling down again just to make sure everything's free. And at this point we're going to drop the back lever in because it's not attached to the needle tube. So just drop it in. There's a slot machine there now already to, to help you with that. And next we're just going to drop the trigger in. There's nothing to the trigger. Just make sure it sits on top of the air valve. Just press it down, you'll be able to feel if it's located correctly. Now you carry on screwing in the tube shank. And this is where it differs to any other airbrush. You do this up so that it's tight. Now we put the needle chuck back on. back it off a little bit and now we're able to slide the, the needle in. I just press down on the trigger just make sure there's nothing that's going to hit the front of the needle as it goes through. Just push it in all the way and you'll just be able to feel it stop against the nozzle at the front. As soon as you just feel it touch, that's enough. Then just nip the chuck up. Replace the handle. And that is it. As you can see, you, get, you can easily remove the needle with the handle still on. The cutaway lets you get to the chuck. And that's everything back together again. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the tension on the, the trigger spring. Because you've done up the, the tube shank tightly, this little spring screw adjusts in and out, which will enable you to get more or less tension on the trigger. So once you're satisfied with that, just put the handle back on again. And that's it. The hose fitting on badges is slightly different to the uh, the average 8th BSP fitting but you can get an adapter from Badger it just screws onto the onto the Badger thread and that turns into a um, 
a connector for a quick release adapter. So if you get one of those, you can just click it on and off your airbrush very easily. It's very useful for um, if you're running a couple of airbrushes at the same time. You may have paint in both of them and you just want to uh, dodge between one and use and the other. You can just click these on and off without having to unscrew them all the time. So if you have got eight BSP hoses, you can get the uh, the female adapter which will screw into that. It also makes it slightly more comfortable to use. It gives you a bit more of a uh, a longer a longer grip. So I'd recommend that. I highly recommend that you lubricate your airbrush correctly. So any moving parts in your airbrush really should be um, have some lubricant applied to it. So this is available from Badger. It's called Needle Juice. You just apply it to the needle which will allow it to glide freely through the, the Teflon seal and it's I just really recommend it for using it throughout the airbrush just to keep everything running smoothly and, and, and working correctly. For more information on the Patriot range of airbrushes please visit www.badgerairbrush.com